In literature, Hades is often given the role of a malevolent deity due to his designation as the god presiding over the realm of the dead in Greek mythology. Because of this, throughout ancient times, people feared the god. The name Hades itself had become so closely intertwined with the concept of the underworld and gradually became synonymous with the very concept of the underworld itself. They also believed that the frequent usage of the term Hades would result in a decrease in one's lifespan as it was considered a chant to summon the god of the underworld into one's life. Because of this, people in ancient Greek history rarely spoke aloud about the god and used his name. However, the ancient Greeks had an understanding that Hades was not entirely a malevolent deity and they regarded the concept of dead as something sacred within their beliefs. Because of the fear to use the term Hades to address the god, they often used other names such as Pluton or Pluto. Unlike Hades, these terms were used to represent the positive aspects of the god which would highlight his role as the ruler of the afterlife and not necessarily as the ruler of the underworld. The name Pluton was often mixed up with Plutos, who is the Greek god of wealth. The reason behind Pluto's association with wealth can be explained by the presence of valuable minerals that were found underground. In fact, the fertility of the soil, which is essential for the successful harvest, is also because of the minerals present in it. Therefore, Pluto's dominion over the deep earth not only surrounded him with mineral riches but also extended to the abundance of crops, highlighting the immense wealth he held in these aspects. Pluto is also the Roman counterpart of Hades. Similar to the Greek beliefs, people in Rome also revered Pluto for his association with riches and they acknowledge his kindness and generous nature. There are other theories that claim Pluto as a Greek god and the name does not appear in Roman mythology and the Roman counterpart of Pluto is Dispater, whose name is most often taken to mean rich father. Even though Pluto is associated with Persephone, he is seen as Persephone's loving husband whereas Hades is seen as Persephone's brutal abductor. Persephone and Pluto are seen as deities who receive souls after their death and it was they who guided these souls to their afterlife. In the context of this task, Pluto and Persephone are referred to as Pluton and Co. Unlike for Hades, Pluto had many temples and was worshipped extensively, especially when it comes to matters related to death and the afterlife. Pluto shares the same origin story as Hades. As for Hesiod's Theogony, Pluto is recognized as the fourth child born to Cronus and Rhea and the eldest among their three male children. After Cronus was overthrown, the three male children divided the world into three realms. Zeus took the sky, Poseidon took the sea, and Pluto took the underworld. Even though this is the most popular story related to the origin of the god, there are some accounts saying that Pluto is the son of Demeter and Iasion who is a Greek hero and the springtime consort of Demeter. Because Demeter and Iasion were both associated with agriculture, Pluto inherited these attributes from his parents and became the wealth beneath the soil. Some myths believe that Pluto as having functions or significance equivalent to those of Zeus. The only difference is Pluto governs over the realm of the dead while Zeus governs the realm of the living. So Pluto is sometimes seen as the thorning Zeus. Unlike his brothers Zeus and Poseidon, Pluto is rarely known to having any children. Furies, who is the goddess of vengeance, is considered as the daughter of Pluto, but not with his wife Persephone, but with goddess Nyx. Texts do claim Pluto had children with Persephone, but they do not specifically name the children. In one of the legends, it is said that Zeus once has taken the form of Pluto and has tricked Persephone to bed with him. Through these interactions, the name Melino was born. Pluto also seems to have a special inclination towards love. Pluto is often associated with tales involving lovers being separated by death. The legend of Orpheus's descent to the underworld is often linked with Pluto than with Hades. As for these legends, Orpheus is a gifted musician and he visits the underworld with the hopes of bringing back his deceased wife. 
he managed to impress Pluto and Persephone with his music, so Pluto grants his permission to take his wife with him. But in order to test Orpheus, Pluto asks him not to look back at his wife's soul until they have walked out of the underworld no matter what happens and to trust that it is his wife's soul that follows him. But right before the gate to the underworld, Orpheus gives in to his temptation and looks back at his wife. Because Orpheus did not follow Pluto's command, his wife gets dragged back to the underworld. Another story links Pluto with Protesilus, who is the first Greek hero killed in the Trojan War. Protesilus wishes to return to the world of the living because he was newly wed and wanted to return to his wife. Even though Pluto argues that he can meet his wife after she dies, Protesilus points out that Pluto himself is an impatient lover and that is why he abducted Persephone. On hearing the request, Persephone asks Pluto to release Protesilus. This time, Pluto grants the request at once and lets Protesilus meet his wife for a day. Attributes of Pluto mentioned in the Orphic hymn to Pluto are his scepter, keys, throne and horses. The keys of Pluto are considered to hold the prominence among these attributes. The keys are connected to his capacity of giving wealth to humanity, specifically agricultural wealth. This is because it is with these keys he has sealed the underworld. No one is able to return from there, including the dark forces that could make the land infertile. So as long as Pluto does not unlock the gates of the underworld, the land would be fertile and would produce the harvest. A golden key is placed on the tongue of the initiatives by the priest of Pluto's temple as a sign that they should not reveal the secrets of Pluto. Deities who are also associated with the underworld are also portrayed as holding keys. Pluto is also said to possess the helmet of invisibility. It is said that when the three brothers fought against Cronus, Cyclopes has given them divine gifts to fight in the battle. Zeus was given the thunderbolt, Poseidon was given the trident, and Pluto was given the invisibility helmet. It is said the god can become invisible when he wears the helmet. With the arrival of Christianity, Pluto started to get identified as the devil. During the gladiatorial games, there were individuals dressed in divine attire, including someone portraying Pluto, who had the role of taking away the deceased bodies as part of the ceremonial proceedings. Fallen gladiators were seen as sacrifices to Pluto. Regardless of these influences, Pluto has not been portrayed by ancient mythology as a malevolent deity, but as someone who is willing to listen and even grant wishes if they prove themselves worthy. It is important to note, however, that the name Pluto and Hades are used for the same god, but only that each term represent different aspects of the god. What do you think of this story? Let me know your thoughts and anything I might have missed. As always, thank you so much for all your love and support. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again with another story to tell.